Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Well, we're here at the Bank of Springfield Center to celebrate our Eucharistic Congress and uh, the centennial 100 years that our diocese has been located here in Springfield, Illinois. We've got over 5,000 people here to take part in different events and culminate with the celebration of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. I came here today because I've never been able to go to a conference with a large group of Catholic people and I'm super excited to get to see everyone come together and to just really see how the faith is alive um, in our diocese. I like that we can see so many people from different parishes and that they pray together, that we can celebrate uh, God's table together uh, in one place. I'm hoping that, uh, that through this we will seek to live in the Lord more and uh, maybe even go to adoration more. It's been great. It's been like almost like a family reunion. I keep running into people. I can't walk more than 20 feet without running into someone that I know, some Catholic from somewhere in the diocese. Um, and it's just great to be here with all these people who are wanting to um, come together to worship Jesus in the Eucharist. We're just trying to grow deeper in our Eucharistic love of the Lord. And for me, I think just coming here to go deeper with Him and understanding um, the beauty of his heart in the Eucharist. Well, we're excited that so many of the church is gathering together and we're coming to proclaim our faith and to celebrate that together today. My favorite thing about today is honestly just kind of the diversity of like all these different type of miracles, like all the things I've been reading here that happens all over the world. And I think it's important just to kind of learn about it. The biggest goal here is for our kids to understand the universality of the Catholic Church. I told my husband last night, probably our kids won't last very long. All of our kids are young. But however long it takes, or however long we're able to be here, I just want them to know there are other people who think and see the world in the same way that they do, and to have that experience of being with a group of, a large group of Catholics. That in the world that we live today in, it's so easy to be run down from all the bombardment of the culture, and it's really great to be a part of something that you know you're not alone in. To me, to the Knights of Columbus, to the Order, to me, the Eucharist means spending time with Jesus. One-on-one, -on -one, a one-on-one -on -one time of spending time with Jesus. Well, my message for today is just, first of all, just the beauty of everyone being here together is incredible, but uh, just that God is love and that the Eucharist is a sacrament of his love for us. He comes to meet us where we are, but wants to bring us out into the world so that his love can reach the corners of the earth. Do this in memory of me. You know, as a convert, I discovered that the Holy Eucharist is Jesus Christ himself. And so when I converted back in my teenage years, it was a conversion to Christ. I never thought the Eucharist was anything more than a wafer. To discover that it is his resurrected body, blood, soul, and divinity just changed my whole world. I think today will help my parish by growing in the love of the Eucharist and especially seeing the great gathering of people around the gift of the Eucharist as people from throughout the diocese coming to fall in love with Jesus Christ. I go adoration because I feel closer to God. I can talk to him and I know he can hear me with more attention and I open myself more to him. I feel more comfortable and I feel like he can answer to me. It gives me peace. Uh, it allows me to help you know, better connect with Christ and kind of clear out some of the clutter that accumulates when all the things of the world are out there and just some time alone with the Eucharist, it, it helps bring that out. Coming to Mass with 5,000 people was a terrific experience, uh, something I've never experienced in my life, so it was wonderful. Um, just knowing that that community of that many people is always there and uh, uh, going through those steps in the parts of the Mass is just beautiful and being all together is just a, again, just a wonderful experience. Oh. thinking like hey what comes after something like this the answer is simple it's just a friendship with Jesus so like going back and taking maybe it's a particular moment and a particular encounter today deepening your relationship with him and letting that form an identity 
that you know what you're about and in everything you do as a Catholic Christian and a friend of Jesus. The Eucharist should be the source and summit of our life because in the Eucharist, God himself, the second person of the Trinity, Jesus Christ, comes into our hearts and he shares his life with us. And this is what, what animates us. This is what sends us out in the world to, to do good things and to help other people and to be filled with God's grace. Thank you.